Hey friends, welcome back to my vlog. I can't believe we're at episode four already. I'm here in Christchurch, just landed. I'm on my way to Dunedin where I am starting my 10th cruise ship contract. I have about two hours to kill. I have some episode three vlog to edit and a few other bits and pieces to do, so that will be fun. I just arrived here on the ship and so I'm gonna grab my bags and do a bit of a baggage haul for you and take you through what I pack. So as a guest entertainer, I have to get on the ship and do a show and there's a lot of travel involved. If I end up at a port after flying and I don't have my check-in bag, I can get on the ship and do my show and live with what I have plus needing to buy some extra supplies like toothpaste, deodorant, those bits and pieces. The cabin bag is kind of like a mishmash of little bits and pieces that I use to do my show and the costume and everything like that. All right, so check-in bag, cabin bag. All right, let's start with the cabin bag first. In the front here is where I stash all of my receipts and in here is like my little pocket of stuff. So you've got AirPods, phone charger, pen, um, flash drive, and the keys to that bag. So, what have we got in here? I have my iPad. Hello. In here, some sort of Panadol and tissues. Got my laptop. I have here a folder which has a couple of music books in it. Drum, kit, bass, guitar. These are some of the thicker books. So I have the rest of them in here, which are a bit easier to print. I'm gonna get to this funny looking thing last, but I have a washcloth when I get sweaty during the show. Underwear, I have a bit of a dress shirt here. I have two black dress shirts that I use for the show. Obviously I iron these. Uh, I've got a t-shirt, got another polo shirt, I have some shorts, I have a jacket that I would use for the show. Again, it's pretty crinkled, but I will steam it. I also have a couple of pairs of socks. I have my laptop charger, two power adapters. So these are Australian power adapters to American power adapters. All of the power points on the ship are American. I have uh, belts. I have my inny monitors, which are the little headphones that I wear. These are custom made to fit my ear. Uh, I've got some headphones here, spare ones. Sometimes I edit on my laptop. I have the pair of jeans that I wear in my show. I have a little podcast recording microphone set up in here, which is this goes in your iPhone. And then you can plug in two microphones down here, two little lapel microphones. So this is what I'm using to record my podcast this week. So exciting. I have a USB charger. I have a power pack here. It'll do my iPhone about six times over. And then I have the emergency bag. This is so, so good. So this unravels and turns into quite a large bag. And so that is super helpful if I have to check in this bag or if something else happens and I run out of space. And I travel with my harmonica so that I can do. This last little thing here is called a track rig. Now this little thing, well, it's not little, but it's very light. This is what I use to run the tracks for my show. In my show, I like to have backing vocals and it's really difficult to arrange on the ship here to have people sing backing vocals. So I actually have a bunch of those pre-recorded that I play along with the show. There's other instruments in there as well, like a little bit of extra guitar. Sometimes there's some extra synth parts or some sound effects or some bass drops or exciting little things like that that are pre-recorded. But basically this track rig here plugs into my laptop via USB and out the front of it, eight separate channels of audio. Now I don't use all of them, I use four of them, but basically I'll send the sound guy, the backing tracks through channels one and two here, and then I'll send him the backing vocal part through channel five, and then through channel six, I send the click track. So that's basically, 
and then my voice telling the band when to start, when to stop, when we get to a chorus, bridge, change in tempo, change in section, all that kind of thing. So the whole show is played to a click track plus voice cues which is all pre-recorded stuff of me directing the band. And then we all hear it through things like these in-ear monitors. So I have these in my ears so that I can hear that click, but the audience can't obviously, cause that's the magic of show business. So that's my bag. But I'm gonna take you through my check-in bag now and show you what else I bring. Cause I've gotten quite good at packing light. I say that, but I'll probably pull all this stuff out of my bag and you'll go, why does he need all that shit? So this has probably done about 30 flights maybe. I'm definitely in need of a new one. I wanna get one that has spinners like this and is a hard case. So that's gonna be my next purchase. So this is probably the last time that I'll do a cruise contract with this bag that has served me so well. All right, so it's pretty messy in here, but that's what happens when you have an overnight in a hotel and you need something at the bottom of your bag and everything falls apart. Uh, I have hats, I have shoes. I travel with four pairs of shoes now. So I have my favorite Vans and then I have the boots that I wear in the show. Uh, and if there's like a formal night or something, then I will wear those. And then I also have joggers. If I go out on a port day, walking around a lot, or if I go to the gym, I'll wear those too. And then I have these the sandal ones here. So inside of those shoes, I then have socks. Guys, put your socks in your shoes if you don't when you pack. It saves you so much room. You can obviously see Woolies bags in here. I would really like to replace these with something else, like a black calico bag or something a bit more classy because I always feel like such a bogan when I pull Woolworths bags out of my check-in bag. I use them for washing. So if I have dirty washing, I'll put them in there. When I pack my suit jackets, I like to put those also in a Woolies bag so that the sequin one doesn't get ripped. Um, and so it kind of just packs nicely because there's, there's no compartments in here. It's just all open. You can see the chocolate, can't you? I just find it easier to break things up a little bit. Like maybe if I've got lots of pants, I'll put all the pants in one of them and then my jacket's in another and stack them kind of like Tetris. So these aren't normal inclusions. I picked these up in Dunedin last night. Last time I was here on this ship, the sound guy, Sangeed, is his name. We were talking in the crew bar and at the time we were eating chocolate and he said, I love dairy milk. Oreo chocolate and that stuck with me and I was in Woolies last night. Well, not Woolies, Countdown here in New Zealand. I thought I would buy him a block because that will win me massive points. If I can say thank you with this and make him happy, then that's gonna be great. So we'll see how that goes. So that block of chocolate is not for me. Although I'll probably end up eating half of it with him, it's technically not for me. So next up, pajamas for me to sleep in. A tripod for me to either film my show or film content for the vlog. Lint roller, toilet bag, I'll take you through that. Here I have some dress shirts. Uh, this is like a pool. You've probably seen me wearing this before. I just wear it around the pool because it's really quick to dry. I have all of my underwear for the week. I have my swimmers for the pool. And then I have my gym shirt, gym shorts. And then finally this little section down here. So I've got a like a spray jacket. So we have this in here. So this is the rest of my music. Um, this is a foot pedal for the iPad. So if I'm using lyrics on the iPad, I can actually change this with my foot instead of swiping. I have the neck brace for the harmonica. And then I have the other books of music. So I can print these on the ship if I lost my bag. Trumpet, alto sax, trombone. So there's the rest of the music. And then in here, I also have all of the cue sheets. That one's for lighting, this one's for audio, and it has all of the cues for the sound guy to play the tracks on the computer. This is a bit about how that track rig thing that I showed you works and how I like the stage laid out. And then finally at the bottom of the bag, I have jeans some pants, a pair of shorts, more pants, and then I have a third black dress shirt. So if I have to do another show after I perform the first two shows, because for each show I'll wear a new black shirt because it gets so sweaty. So two shows in one night, I'll wear two black shirts and I might have a second show the day after or two or three days after, in which case I might need that backup black shirt. So I travel with three of those. And then I have T-shirts. And then finally in this bag here, this is what I was talking about. These are my suit jackets. So again, they're pretty crumpled. So this one doesn't get crinkled because it's all covered in sequins. But this one here does get a little bit crinkled. So I'll steam that as well. So I'll use the 
grey jacket and the gold jacket for the Billy Joel Elton John show, which is my first show. If I have to do a second show, I'll wear that black jacket that I had in my carry-on because I can do that Billy Elton show in that jacket. That's fine. And just don't change the jacket. And then I can also do a second show in that jacket. So it's basically just a generic kind of stage outfit. Then finally, my toilet bag. So we're in the bathroom here. Hello. So in here, another black washcloth for being sweaty. Shaver. I've got some mouthwash and other bits and pieces. The shower gel in here is amazing. It's coconut. I've just started using a bamboo toothbrush. Sunscreen, deodorant, toothpaste, foundation that I wear on stage just to make sure that I don't get washed out and my face isn't all red. Oh, that's an ugly pimple right there. Then a bunch of drugs in the back here. I've got some paracetamol, some sleeping pills, a band-aid, a comb, and that's about it. All right, that's what I bring with me on a cruise contract. I've made an absolute mess. Leave me a comment below if you have any ideas for me to pack differently, to pack better, any tips for saving space or anything like that. I'm all for it. Uh, would love to have a conversation about it. Incredibly beautiful was that sunset. Oh my goodness, amazing. Dunedin is so, so, so pretty at night. That is incredible. Look, it's still going down over here. Probably doesn't look great on camera, but it is incredible. How good is this pool and lighting and the sky? Oh my goodness. Alright, so I've got my gift for Sangeet, our sound engineer, and I can't remember if this conversation actually happened because I was drinking at the time. So this is either going to go spectacularly well or it'll be a spectacular fail. Sangeet. Hello, Liam. Hello, Liam. Made my vlog, friends. Um, so everyone, this is Sangeet. Okay, so we were talking last time. Right. And we were eating chocolate together. Lots of chocolate. And off, I, a table, off a table. Off a table, right? Right, right. you remember? Off a table, okay, yes. Okay, good. And uh, you said that your favorite chocolate was Cadbury with Oreo. Was that correct? correct? Yes, yes! Yes! Nailed it! <laughs> I'm going home, guys. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, man. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good do you show. Like, do you like that chocolate? I love this. Best oh. day of my life! Oh. Apparently not. Oh my god, it's brilliant here. Oh great, so I'm gonna have a Absolute great sounding show tonight. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh shit, this is... <laughs> oh, my life's made now. Oh, wonderful. I know so we have that track rig box that I was telling you about. It's sitting right here. And then the laptop, which I'm just setting up with the different outputs, which Sangeet's got to connect up. And then the laptop running a app called QLab. You can see all the songs that are in my second show here the different instruments and the click track and the voice cues, the BVs, some extra guitar and tambourine and other bits and pieces. So you can see if I push play, you've got these tracks lighting up here. So that's what we use to run the show. And then we've got the cue sheet with all the cues for the sound guy. And that's the second show right there.
Well, that's it. I just finished my second show, which was a matinee this afternoon in the theatre, and it was the greatest piano hits of all time show. So it was Bohemian Rhapsody and Walking in Memphis, The Way It Is, Let It Be, Bridge Over Troubled Water, a Thousand Miles, Drops of Jupiter, all those incredible songs, and it was so much fun. Such a beautiful audience have had standing ovations for all three performances that I've done on this cruise, which has been absolutely magic. I recorded the second episode of my podcast, On Stage at Sea, with Danny Elliott this morning. So that was really great to chat with him. Super excited to edit that up and get that online. And this afternoon, it's now about 4.35 o'clock. I'm finished. The contract's basically over. I leave the ship tomorrow morning when we arrive in Tauranga, which is on the North Island of New Zealand. I fly down to Christchurch again, which is very odd. It's about a 50 minute flight north to Auckland, but I'm actually flying two hours south to Christchurch. And then I have a 55 minute layover in Christchurch. Now, 55 minutes is not a long time in the airport to get from one flight to another. I'm sure there's a few of you out there that know that. I am preparing myself to either miss the connecting flight, or if I do make the flight, then I imagine that my bag's gonna be left in Christchurch. So anyway, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be quite an adventure. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Bye bag, hopefully see you in Sydney. I doubt, I doubt the 55 minute transfer, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> So I made it. Let's see if my bag did too. Well, well, well. Good one, Air New Zealand. I'm impressed. All right, that's it. Made it home to Sydney, got my bag. I'm about to jump in an Uber and head into the city. I'm meeting Amy, we're going to an event and then driving home. Beautiful day in Sydney. Sun's going down over here. Very nice. That is the end of episode four. See you next time.